Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Dr. Manhattan. It's been quite a while, actually. Um, I'm still a little, still got a little sore throat. Uh, caught a cold a couple of days ago. Um, I am in my creative test world and um, trying out something. I had some ideas. What I wanted to do with the uh, um, with my Let's Play world, and um, I had to try something out because I couldn't figure out how it works r straight away, and um, so I tried something out, and I think it works pretty cool. So um, as you can see. There's water flowing down in kind of like a cave. Here's an old abandoned mine shaft, but um, that happened by accident. I actually swam here. Um, and to show you what this is, it's a hole in the ocean. Yeah, that's right. And it stays like that. Um took me a while to figure it out how it works um, well not too long though but still um, I want to implement something like that in my single player survival I think um, a little bit bigger of course because I think it's cool that um, the water just pours down and acts like a veil into the ocean. It's like a wall, um, a water, kind of like a, almost looks like a force field holding it back. Um, I tried out uh, some sh planting some sugar reeds on the bottom of the ocean and just stack them up, but um, that only for the reason that squids um, appear to like. Uh, blank space free room to swim into and fall down and die that's kind of annoying um, when you're actually doing stuff down there and every once in a while a squid drops on your head and almost dies um, yeah of course a little bit bigger uh, I think it's pretty cool especially with that with a uh, with a cave deep down uh, below and I'm um, not as close to the uh, to this uh, bottom of the ocean here uh, so that you can't actually see all that um, so if we wanted to whoops uh, oh come on ah lower it we gotta uh, dig a trench a little bit deeper yeah I buried him here stupid squid because it's important that you got at least one block trench there so uh, the water doesn't oh, come on give me a break you stupid squid um, into the space you, you dug out um, like this um, of course we all know that but just to mention it um, how deep can we go one more yeah so you know you, you get the idea it, it looks a lot better the deeper you are uh, or the far away you are from this edge here and um, but to do that um, you know I mean it doesn't matter how deep that is the ocean but you need to be some distance away from that bottom of the ocean underneath uh, so that's pretty cool I think um, I wonder uh, what are I gonna do with it? Um, 
I've been thinking about covering this up, so it is not like really big out in the in the open field on uh, on the on the area in the middle of the ocean, so to say. But cover that up with um, maybe some 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 bushes or vines and transparent blocks so to say so uh, like leaves or something just you know I have like maybe like an island somewhere near and have the trees grow uh, have the trees grow over it a bit um, so it can be accessed but it's not you know visible out in the open for everybody to see so you have to take a closer look to see what's going on that'd be cool and um i thought about well i wasn't sure about it but um there's some ideas i just have just throw them out um maybe have an elevator uh or something like that um Maybe could even think, uh, cause I saw this in a um, in a ravine where the ravine was out in the ocean and um, you could see the sky if daylight and um, the water was uh, flowing down along the edge and I made a hole in the ocean. But um, it'd be cool to have like a some kind of ride through it. And the in the ravine, I thought it'd be funny to have like a I don't want to say roller coaster uh, but kind of like that like a mine card you know um, I'm lost for words uh, like a trek going through how uh, to transport you to uh, a certain point from one point to another and just pass by waterfalls all around you and um, see daylight or a night sky without any obstacles so um, that's just the ideas I got um, what I wanted to show you the thing what I tried out here with the stairs is if you have a um, <coughs> let me show you real quick like a I mean you come in from somewhere if you have a room like that underground and um, And you want to go in there. I mean, it it, it kind of looks cool, but um, oh wait, what? You know what I can try out now is try this. Um, haven't tried that yet. Yeah, works too. Um, you need an entrance and an exit. Um, so to say, because if you want to move freely and smooth, um. Show you real quick. It's already reckoned probably. If you want to just go there, um, you sink too fast. But if you put a block there, a uh, half slab, you're right. Uh, you d you you ascend a bit. You're a bit higher uh, than you than you drown, so to say. And um. Think of something like that. Yeah, that works. I mean, this is a really confined space. I'm just uh, checking out the principle uh, of it working, you know. So, um, oh boy, they're so stupid. So you could do it like this checkboard thing. And as you can see, it's you have to uh, have a lot more space so you can make like a little two by two uh, ways in there so have it like this it's a lot easier and then um, just imagine this be too wide like this and you go back and because um, the problem with it is um, if you place um, I'm gonna do that without 
flooding the whole thing. Um, if you want to make a hallway, so to say, oh, what we could try is I haven't tried that yet. <coughs> I wonder if that works. Um, so let's say you want to cross that. Ah, rubbish. Ah, nah, nah, see? That's, uh, hate that. Um, Now that works. Um, so you could walk in here and exit. Um, maybe here. I don't know if that works. Um, and try that either. Put it here. Uh, okay. So that works. That's cool. Um, because the problem with it was um. Uh, I now built all around of here. Um, I get lost, and um, I only had it on one side. Like, um, quick, Let me show you in a dry space what I did before. One more, so that you can see from the side. Okay, before, um, this is the water, uh, water trench where the water is coming from top, and this is, um, this part here, the upper part, and, um, here's the water, uh, there's the wall, which is this part here, and, um, you want to pass here, and so, uh, cut the water off above. So if you do it like that, um, the stream hits this block and floods the hole in a part which you don't want to be filled with water. So you build something like this. So now the water um, hits this block and can't go uh, in that or that direction because this is the main wall here and it just flows aside um, but what happens strangely though is um, that it somehow uh, creates a, a stream like a torrent and um, flows in in the middle to blocks here like here here and I think even here I don't know why that was. It was just weird. But water, I mean, seriously. It got some nice uh, properties, but sometimes it acts a little bit weird. Um, but um, as this is working, like, uh, I can show you, like, it's more or less like the, uh, like the trench we dug down below. Um, the water can't just go here. Or can't go there. Can't just go here. And um, due to the whole block going around, one uh, block above the main stream, the main torrent, which is created here, uh, it can't flow into that uh, cleared out space in the middle. Uh, do you understand what I mean? Um, it's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, build it like that and you'll be fine. Um, but since this is working, um, I might try some stuff with that in the single player survival. Um, but speaking of which, um, I'm going to switch levels and be right back. So, um, I've been exploring quite a bit undergrounds try to figure out where I 
could have that um, what I just showed you the uh, water tunnel the vertical water, water tunnel um, coming down in the ocean the th uh, from the ocean the thing is um, I'd like to have it up here um, so it kind of feeds these two streams that go down there that'd be awesome to have them connected but um, here is uh, solid land solid ground on the island so uh, we have to do it somewhere else um, this is uh, undergrounds as well yeah Whoop. Come on. So we have to dig in that direction, then we can maybe do it up there. That'd be cool. I mean, we got lots and lots of space uh, to do stuff. Um. Last time, I. Uh, Built that door to the uh, storage room low level, which in the future will contain all the good stuff, the gold, uh, the, the potion stuff, and all that. And um, had a little uh, furnace room here, two workbench, so we can do stuff. Um, Due to Diablo 3 and me uh, really going crazy at it, um, I didn't play much as you probably noticed and therefore I didn't uh, sort my storage stuff out and put them in these boxes over here which I opened with the letter. Um, I need to do that soonish. And then um, I'm really wanna kick off to do some more exciting stuff. I'm getting a little bit bored of building. Um, still got lots and lots of uh, projects, stuff I wanna do, but um, I came up with the idea of, um, you know what, we are. Uh, Put um, put something here like a to-do list, so um, I won't forget it, and I don't have to do it straight away. So what I want to do is um, it's not by priority; it's a mine a uh, card ride through like one of the ravines um... one uh, uh, minecart ride minecraft yeah minecart ride next thing um... i wanted to build a giant clock uh, a digital digital clock in the main hall somewhere or somewhere around this uh, main center um, I wanted to do a what's it called a growth detector uh, 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 a wheat growth detector Wheat growth detect. Okay, that should do it. <laughs> and what do I want to do? Um, uh, clean up storage. Clean storage. Like finish it. Could also write finish storage. Um,
to do list. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay, minecart ride, digital clock, wheat growth detector, clean storage. Um, what else? One I want to do the waterfall, the inward waterfall. Yeah. Um, I wanted to do a mushroom farm. I wanted to do a well. Tree farm, yeah, tree farm, that's important. Um, prepared it, never finished it. Um, I wanted to do... Um, redesign... Redesign farm. Uh, which just means uh, gonna clear out all the... Uh, not, not all the... Um, but as I started over there... Um, stick with the design I figured it would be great to have like the, the, the sunken temple thing and just keep going with it clear that out and um, mostly clear out the glass and kind of um, get it look like the rest of the base mainly that's that's the project the thing I wanted to do and maybe even connect it up here um, so I don't have to walk around back there, which I could, but um, it's more uh, convenient to just go over here and uh, go down to the buttons, push them, and, and harvest, and um, even uh, have them interconnected with the. Well, I don't need. I don't actually need that because um, these are full auto. Um, forget what I said. Um, just redesign the whole thing. Um, what else what I wanted to do? Let's clear that out a bit. <laughs> Need more space. What else? Um uh, the waterfall. I had something in mind for a nether portal room. Portal room, another portal room. Yeah, I had some crazy ideas with that because uh, I wanted it um, to be a bit aside of the whole base thing and have like a way towards the nether portal and have a big, huge room with um. Don't want to spoil too much, but it's gonna be a bit jungle-like. So that's all I can say. Um, what else did I want to do? I got a digital clock. I got the ah uh, yeah, the entrance, entrance, um, elevator entrance, elevator entry. Um, a boat hub, boat hub, where I can um. Leave the island, then go travel and gather stuff I don't have on the island. Um, a potions lab. So these are uh, four, eight, twelve points so far. Digital clock, which I'm gonna do mostly off camera, probably, the same as the elevator. The wheat growth detector, I saw. Um, the minecart ride is a long term thing. The clean storage is short term, gonna do that really soon. Same as the tree farm. Um, 
<coughs> deal with the slime. There's too much slime running around. And, um, oh, wait. That's better. Deal with slime. Um, that's somehow a secondary to tree farm project because uh, most of the slime spawns down at where the tree farm has to go and um, I thought I can do something with water streams and cacti there but I'm not sure if it will work out and um, we'll see about that um, da -da -da -da. what else what else leaf creative um, yeah more survival Um, I don't want to spend uh, all my let's play in creative mode. I started out survival and that's where I want to go. Um, enter ne nether, very important. Enter the end. These are some things I want to do. Anything else I wanted to build? Uh, yep, 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 there was something. Uh, redo and chant room. Yeah, I want to build another enchantment room. Uh, kind of the whole thing developed in a different direction than I thought it would, and it doesn't really uh, fit my needs up there. Gonna do something else up there and maybe reconnect the whole thing up there. I like the uh, lava curtain idea, but I wanna uh, kinda redesign the whole tower lookout thing a bit and um, connect it more to the base. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember something else. Uh, mop sorter. And XP grinder with the mop sorter. Um, they kinda go hand in hand. But it is also a uh, midterm, so to say, project. I uh, have to do some research on that. Got some nice tutorials on mobs orders, but I have to clear out a whole lot of room for that since it's all packed in this one ravine back there. Uh, what else? What else did I want to do? I got the uh, a mushroom farm, I got a potions lab, an enchantment room. Uh, I got the redo the chicken farm, replace chickens. Replace the chick, okay, that's gonna... That's quite some stuff to do. Um, And it's going to stay here as a reminder for me and for you so that you'll know and can see uh, some progress. Um, I had something else in mind. Build a proper um, prop yeah that's for survival um build a proper mine cuz i uh hit uh i did hit uh, quite a lot of caves um in the uh mine i had i tried to establish um plus what else what else what else mm. build a tunnel to the mainland and get livestock over here um yeah, because I don't have any uh, other, from chicken, I don't have any other animals. Oh well, on the surface there are uh, 
sheep, but no cows or anything like that. And uh, gonna try to get some of those. What else? Is there more to do? Lifelong to do list. Well, what else would did I want to do? Um, yeah, um. Another secret entrance. Secret. Secret. Entry. Kind of. Yeah. Um. I saw some nice stuff. Um. At CNV Minecraft's uh, channel. And uh yeah. Got some nice ideas with that. As well as another secret entrance. Uh that's another idea I got. Um You can't have enough secret entries, can you, on a like a secret base. Um Build a living room somewhere where the bed is. Um, have it nice and cozy, kind of like a the main kind of like a lounge. Let's call it lounge. Lounge room underwater. Uh, so, Whew. is there more to do? The mop sorter, um, the mop grinder. Oh, kind of flew out there, did I? Oh, I remember. Um, um item indicator. Which is uh, closely related to the thing there, uh, where the item drops from the uh, item farm mob system. Most of the mob system go. They go on the pressure plate and it's not hooked up anywhere. And I want to have an indicator light and maybe a sound play uh, short before it. Uh, despawns and um, I plan to have it somewhere up here maybe so it's good visible whenever I'm here have a area lighted up maybe I hook it up to some more lights somewhere uh, where I can see where I most of the time am and um, so get most out of the items ah yeah I remember um, item indicator in indicator and a oh I forgot can't be I just had it um yeah uh light up caves to make the mob system more efficient and um what else what else what else So this is all stuff flowing around in my head when I think about my Minecraft Let's Play uh, level. And uh, sometimes I forget uh, stuff and um, kind of don't know what to do now. That, so it's a good thing probably to write it down. Um, what else? Uh, I wanted to do... Exploring. Some more exploring, traveling. That's always good. 
exploring and traveling not to forget and um, one last thing one last big thing play the ah uh, wait 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 play the game because I forgot to do that a lot lately and I'm sorry for that um, yeah that kind of looks good so far um, if I come up with something else I want to do because I more or less constantly have ideas what I want to do and uh, what I want to change I had some cool idea for this part here but I forgot about it because um, ah yeah mushroom farm I think wanted to have like and yeah ah right um but it doesn't work does it I don't know uh, XP grinder output I don't use I don't have to use caps. I'm not yelling at myself, right? Um, mob output so does uh, mob output is something um, that is closely connected to the to the uh, hostile mob system and the mob sorter. And um, so what I plan is with the mob sorter and the XP grinder, I want to sort the mobs. Of course, that's what a mob sorter does, isn't it? And um, then have them all into a specific grinder. I I think zombies have different uh, health than skeletons or creepers, and there are spiders as well. Uh, grind them for a certain amount of time each specific to the mob that there is and then have them not killed where they are but transport them off so that they um, kind of um, stick out with their feet kind of like have them standing there um, so they can't touch me. They they get transported there and just maybe fall a little without taking fall damage because they can do that. And um, then just have them collected there. And uh, when I'm walking around here, I see there are some mobs. So I just go there and kill them uh, with an unbreakable item, preferably preferably a sign or food or whatever and then collect the XP and um, maybe enchant some so that's something I need to hook up to this main hall oh I don't know something else um, mob output and um, clear out space clear out stuff um, clear out main hall extend um, yeah this is kind of like considered the main hall, as you all know by now. And um, the mop sorter probably is going to be behind this wall here, somewhere here, um, since it's pretty convenient to have it here. Uh, and But 
uh, above the mob sorter, I could um, clear out a bit and have uh, some other rooms. Well, yes. That sounds good to me. Um, did I forget something? I don't think so. How many points we got? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 34, 35 points. Thirty-five to go. Progress. Progress is sign. Cool. So every time I complete one of those, I'm gonna have it uh, shown here, and. Um, That's the um, to-do list so far. Um, I'm going to stop here. Um, leave it up to you to comment. Maybe you drop me a line what you want to uh, have done in the near future. Or what maybe you got suggestions what I should put on the list. And um, maybe you just want to see something completely different feel free to post it in the comments and um, I'm excited I hope I stick with that point the most because I really like to play this game but I'm kind of caught up with other stuff at the moment or have been caught up with other stuff at the moment and um, um, I hope this to-do list will help me get my shit together and get it done in this game because I really want to see how things uh, develop from here cool um, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hope to see you next time bye bye